now 810 on this Wednesday. Welcome back to The Early Show. Do you know what the number one cause of poisoning deaths in the U.S. is? Carbon monoxide, and it's more of a problem than ever during these winter months. Here with some important information to help us all stay safe is consumer correspondent Susan Copen. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. Carbon monoxide is called the silent killer. You can't see it, smell it, or taste it. Often by the time it's detected, it's too late. But there are things that you can do to protect your family. And he was such a good kid. Such a good, good, good guy. Kyle Rembert was a star athlete. He played football and ran track. His family remembers his love for playing the drums. Everything he touched, everything he touched, it was just like it was no effort for him. But on a cold November day, this 16-year-old lost his life to carbon monoxide poisoning. His aunt found him passed out upstairs in his bedroom. I just remember the fire department coming in and the first face of that fireman who said, get out of the house, get out of the house. I thought everything was going to be all right. Kyle was pronounced dead at the hospital. The family would later learn a faulty furnace was to blame for the buildup of the deadly gas. The pain that it has caused all of us cannot be explained. From California to Georgia, recent snowstorms and the cold snap gripping much of the country have led to numerous cases of carbon monoxide poisonings and deaths. Every year, more than 400 Americans die from unintentional carbon monoxide poisoning. 20,000 visit the emergency room and 4,000 are hospitalized. Often, carbon monoxide poisoning is hard to detect because symptoms mimic the flu, headache, dizziness, vomiting, and confusion. The scary thing about carbon monoxide is that you won't know it's there. Mary Kay Oppie with the Home Safety Council says carbon monoxide can come from any fuel burning appliance in your home, like your stove, fireplace, hot water heater or furnace. Both of these systems need to be checked out by a professional about once a year and tuned up as needed. And every home should have carbon monoxide detectors. I would recommend one on every level especially near sleeping areas. Amen. Teresa Rembert thought about installing detectors before her nephew's death, but never did. The family now has a new furnace and new ventilation system in their home and carbon monoxide detectors on every floor. If you have that thought, get a carbon monoxide detector, do it. Spend the money. Don't wait for tomorrow. Do it today. And if you think that you're suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning, you should leave your house immediately and get fresh air and then, of course, call 911. Prevention is key. Some important things to keep in mind. Never idle your car in the garage. Never use your gas oven to heat your home. And never use a generator in an enclosed space, Maggie. But if you do have carbon monoxide in your home, you need to know about it. And that's why, as the mom said, get one of these today. You, ha you have to have a detector to know it's there. And there are several different kinds out there. They're not very expensive. The first one over here is just a simple battery operated detector. This is about $33. The one How long do these batteries last? Because I can see people forgetting to change the you battery. Need, just like a smoke alarm, you need to change your batteries every year. Okay. Okay. Pick a date, stick with it, change the batteries. Okay. The one here in the middle, this is one that plugs in, but it's also very important to have batteries in it as well. A backup. If the power goes out, you need to know that it's still going to be operating. Because when the power goes out, a lot of generators kick in and that's when we right. see a lot of problems. We've seen a lot of poisonings just this past weekend. There were about 10 in Oklahoma this weekend oh because people were dealing with a storm, dealing with power outages, running generators and the buildup of, of the deadly gas. And, and then the last one, it's just a combo. This is a smoke alarm and a CO detector battery backup here. You can also have these hardwired into your home. This is about $40. A lot of states, are, or some states, I should say, are starting to make this law, aren't they? Yeah, there are more than 20 states that have some sort of carbon monoxide detector on the books. Here in New York, for example, February 22nd, all homes are going to have to have a CO detector. Everybody in America should. Thank you so Absolutely. much, Susan. If you'd like to contact Susan, just go to our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.